Hi, this is Ali Purdiali from Cookie.com. Responsive height widget is very easy to use. You just place it on the page, put it outside of the design area. Now, as, as soon as you place it on the page, you can apply it to any object that you have in the page, as long as you can apply tooltip to that object. So let's say that I have some rectangle here. I go to the fill panel and I give it some color. Now, when I preview the page before I apply the responsive height. I put the responsive height here, but I haven't applied it to the object yet. Now, let's see what happens. When I preview the page, it has a responsive width. Now, if I go to the hyperlinks, go to the tooltip panel and type RH, now we have responsive height on the object. So now, now let's make it more like a square, just to show you how beautifully it keeps the proportion. And when I preview the page, you have the exact same proportion, which is a square. Now let's say that you have a video and it is responsive width. So when I preview the page, it is having these leftovers on the left and the right. But now with responsive height widget, you can go to hyperlink panel, select the video, go to hyperlink panel and in the tooltip panel type RH. And it gives you the exact proportion that you have in the design view. Now let's take a look at the percentage based height because you can use the responsive height widget to give an object a height equal to a percentage of the height of the browser. So let's remove this and create another object. Let's give it some fill color. Place it here and holding the alt key, duplicating the object. Give it a different color. Now select the first one, go to hyperlink panel and in the tooltip panel, type RH. But now let's say that we want to have the percentage based responsive height on the object. So I can say space 70, which gives us the height equal to 70% of the height of the browser. Now let's select the other one, type RH 30. Now it gives us 30% of the height of the browser on this object for its height. Now when I preview the page, you can see that the one at the top has 70% of the height of the browser and the one at the bottom has 30% of the height of the browser. That was pretty much everything about the responsive height widget and thank you for watching this video.